Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are traveling to Durdledore in Dorset. Um, we are going to be staying at the Durdledore Holiday Park. This time we're staying in a caravan or a, or a static caravan rather than camping. Um, it's just that we've got the two dogs with us this time and it just makes things a little bit easier for us. Um, as you can see by the clips I've inserted, um, it's an amazing place to visit. It's so beautiful as well and the sea is so clear. So that is um, what I'll be showing you later, but first we'll be doing a tour of the holiday park itself. As you come up to the entrance of the holiday park, um, on the right hand side is a new created activity area. Um, and then you hit the um, reception area. Adjacent to that is the shop, which is well stocked. You'll be having a little look at that later. And then the Man of War restaurant and bar. As you drive up through the actual caravan area, there's a security barrier. You are given a fob. And then as you approach your designated caravan, there is a security um, so a safe which holds the keys and um, you're given that security code the evening before arrival. little benches outside, it's really picturesque and sheltered. Um, the site is really clean and tidy, I find it all the cleanliness of everything. Uh, and then as you go in to the actual each individual caravans, you can see they are absolutely immaculate and spotless. They were spotlessly clean, I couldn't believe how clean it was. They got all the facilities with a really good Wi-Fi, television, and it's got the free view channels as well, or it's the satellite one. This one had three bedrooms, two of the bedrooms are quite small, but the main bedroom had an ensuite. Again, really clean and tidy. I think these have got to be fairly new because they were absolutely spotless. Showers were really good, the water pressure was absolutely amazing. Okay, so this is the main holiday park area. This is the Manor War restaurant and bar. Serves a selection of food. We ate here three times and the food was really nice. Um, reasonably priced as well. Um, adjacent to the bar is a well-stocked shop. Um, it contains alcohol, food, everything you need really. And then next to that is the um, reception. Walking down this is the camping site for motorhomes and camper vans. For each individual is hidden in the side, they're quite secluded and each has hook up as well. Next to the camper van and the motorhome area um, is the camping site for tents. Next to that is the uh, camping site shower block and the toilet block. Again, um, fairly clean. Um, well, actually, it was really clean. Showers were good. I had a good look around just to make sure. I didn't actually use them because I was in the static caravan, but they, you know, was really clean inside. It could do with a little bit of modernisation, but as you can see in the photos. There was also a washroom, 
with a tumble dryer and washing machine which you can use and a little information section as well for the area these little shepherd's huts you can rent as well I think they contain just a toilet a shower and a bed inside them and then through the end of this camping site it is, um, it is the entrance to the car park with sea view camper vans it's a real steep slope so if you decide to use those bring some chocks you're going to need them through this gate heads on to the Durdle Door Manor War Cove it's a long steep slope easy going down but it's a bit of a mission coming back up again as you can see the views are amazing we went in June which was out the school holidays so it wasn't that busy but I can imagine in the school holiday times it's absolutely packed here to the left is the Manor Wall which is a nice secluded beach the water is so clear and it's um, you, you get down through some stairs which are perfectly safe and wide you'll see a photo of them in a minute as well but it's a stony beach um, obviously being on the Jurassic Coast it's going to be but the water is really clear So to the right is Dirtle Door, to the left the Man of War. There's um, a footpath that runs all the way along the cliffs, there's miles of um, walking as well if your dogs are just generally hiking. Over in the background there is Weymouth which is about 15 minutes away in a car. That has a three mile sandy beach as well there. Okay, so back at the top, um, that's a holiday park, but through this path it leads to Lowworth Cove, which is another secluded cove. Um, that's about another 10 15 minute walk. As you walk into the village, you go down through the car park there. Um, there's lots of eateries and ice cream places as well, and that heads toward the cove. Again, it's stony. They do water sports higher here as well. At the very top of the picture there is the path you can walk down from um, Durdle Door. Again, ice cream parlour, there's a shop on the left hand side and it's also a museum for the Jurassic Coast as well. Loads to do in this area, you've got Cough Castle, you've got Lowworth Castle, um, you've got, as, as I said, Weymouth which has a three mile sandy beach, you've got Swanage which isn't too far away, and you've got Pool Harbour which is probably about half an hour away from there as well. Again, so you follow it through back up the car park, over the path again, and back to Durdle Door. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it and I've got plenty more videos to come.